humongous elephant doing some transportation work here. A little double bison or something? Yeah. yeah. Not bad, not bad, all right. Good morning from Kandy, Sri Lanka. Starting off the morning right now here on the balcony last night. Took a train up in the mountains a little bit. So very, very different scenery. Arrived kind of like already after sunset. This is, today is gonna be a little bit of, let's say, first impression of the town. So first of all, as you can see, it's a fairly mountainous scenery. Very, very green, very lush. We got the, let's say, we got our little bird friend out this morning to get some aerial shots. So, as of right now, for me personally, there's no better way to get to know a city than to go for a little run. So we're gonna put the gear on, gonna go for a run, gonna go for a walk. Let's see what Kandi has to offer. How it feels. And speaking about traveling to a new country, potential travel restrictions and requirements, let me tell you about personally the travel medical insurance that I use. Essential thing to have if you're traveling, if you're living remotely, which is the travel medical insurance. That's where today's video partner, Safe to Win, comes in. So you see, what makes them different is just how flexible they are. If you go for a couple of weeks of a trip, you need a medical insurance, boom, they got you covered. It's very easy to set it up, a couple of minutes, you go on the website. If you travel long term for months or years, you're living remotely, Safety Wing is also a good option for that. So it's very flexible in terms of their membership. And it's also fairly affordable if you compare them to the major competitors at a similar insurance value. Of course, worldwide coverage, 24 seven hotline in case something ever happens. I'll make sure to leave all the details in the description. You know, these days, many countries require you to have a travel medical insurance and with Safety Wing, within pretty much setting it up a couple of minutes, you can get the certificate. It's very easy and official document that all the airports will accept in English, of course. And I would say one of the easiest and most effective solutions. Safety Wing, check them out down below. Good morning. Uh, I guess I'll extend one more night. One more night, yes. Yeah. All right, all right. We are hitting the road of Kandy for the first time during daylight. So yeah, yesterday in the evening, just kind of like drove by, didn't really see anything. So basically there's a huge lake in the middle. There's kind of a boat. And the nice thing is the nature is like really mixed. On one side you have these huge, very, very massive and thick trees while at the same time I wish I would have a zoom lens right now there's like really cool birds sitting here well at the same time you have palm trees you have kind of like a mix tropical as well as a certain I don't even know how to say like maybe Mediterranean just like different kinds of trees that's really what I like about mountainous countries for example in Indonesia there's this one city or in Thailand like Chiang Mai in Indonesia maybe something like Bandung on Java Island where the nature is just a little bit different so yeah Here's kind of like a, um, how are we gonna call it? Uh, swirly street. I don't know, oh wait, I was about to say, I don't know why they made it like this, but actually it seems pretty, pretty self-explanatory because the lake is kind of like flowing through it. Uh, yeah, and actually there's huge fish inside of the lake as well. So definitely alive, which is a good thing. Hello. And uh, yeah, people are really going about their daily life here. Uh, mostly locals while at the same time definitely it's a very touristy town because the tuk-tuk drivers that's kind of like the only thing you have to let's say manage a little bit when traveling in the very touristy counties of Sri Lanka they're not gonna let you walk I'm a big walker I love to go for a nice walk but uh, yeah they want to drive you and so here's the Mahamaya Girls College in Kandy I was just flying some drone and I saw a bunch of people in uniforms so I guess that's what I saw yep exactly Definitely not gonna go in there, that would be a bit weird right now, but <laughs> uh, I really love to visit cities that have a lot of, let's say, of their own life going on in them as well. And yeah, pretty much we're inland of Sri Lanka right now, so uh, there's a lot of ancient, let's say, cities. There is uh, the famous uh, Sigaraya Rock or something like that, a couple of hours drive from here. 
and my plan for the most part in this town is kind of like pass through it I really want to go to Ella see the famous bridge and um, yeah as I said before there's no better way to get to know a city than to go for a run so I'm gonna get a little bit the life juices flowing gonna go for a little bit of a run and uh, check in between if I see some cool stuff and share it with you a little bit so I would say on that note let's tune the aerial shots so you get a feeling a little bit of where it is that I am right now And so we are pretty much doing a loop right now around the lake and I have to tell you where I started to walk was kind of like a bit more busy with the street here is absolutely beautiful it's crazy so they have this like little green island I don't know if it's like some form of shrine I guess you could just swim over there if you're feeling crazy don't recommend it there's like this one bold and bankrupt video where they swim in like I think Udaipur or something but yeah uh basically we're next to one of the most famous buddhist shrines or let's say religious sites in the world something uh, like uh, the tooth shrine and you know kandi used to be the capital of sri lanka during uh, let's say when it was like a kingdom like i don't know 1400 something like over 500 years ago and uh, yeah honestly this side of the lake especially back there here's a bit more touristy because it's kind of like the temple very very well maintained if you're just walking around you see people kind of like painting the walls and stuff like that and uh, yeah definitely hello hello how are you doing so you know when the camera is running it protects you a little bit from the tour offering so definitely obviously very very touristy town but at the same time I would say it's kind of like very mountainous very lush very green personally I like that a lot so I say like that we're gonna go also in the busier town there's kind of like some type of mall in the back so probably there it looks a little bit different but yeah this is pretty much the truth uh tooth <laughs> shrine truth truth short version to got a world sea style like here we found some type of monkey what are they eating rice look at that so this guy downstairs is doing his business this guy just plain rice wow so what about what about you guys small one you know from what I hear the monkeys like to break into your hotel if you keep the windows open so maybe as a side note keep them closed so here is some type of uh, let's say how you doing guys how you doing so some type of flower decorations they're selling here there's a humongous elephant doing some transportation work here wow I'm right next to it what an animal hello sir nice pet you have there wow what a morning Let's see what the flowers are for. Hello. What are the flowers for? Is it like a tradition? Bring to the Buddha. Bring to the Buddha? To the temple? Okay, nice, nice. Did you build the temple? No, no, I'm just doing some sports in the morning ah, right now. Morning. But very beautiful, very nice. You, uh, yeah, yeah. Muscles. No? Good arms, huh? Yeah. Right, yeah, you also. Pretty good, pretty good. Working, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see. We do a little double bicep or something? Yeah. yeah. Not bad, not bad. All right. <laughs> Good job, man. Where are you from? Uh, Ukraine originally. Ukraine? Yeah, yeah. How long do you need? Uh, Kandi? Yeah. Maybe two, three days. Two, three days. Like that, yeah. yeah, better to be in 6.30, no? Sorry? 6.30. 6.30, 6 6 30 in the morning? Ceremony time, evening. 6.30 yeah. evening? Basically, okay. it was uh -huh. people come here. Uh, first, see the candy dance, our cultural show. Over there? Yeah. 
like uh, like there's like an entrance fee or something? Not you know? that. No, is it free? Not free. Free? Not, not free. Not free. Yeah. How much? Uh, Two thousand rupees. Two thousand rupees yeah. to get it to go in. Okay. So temple you said also, huh? temple is also two thousand. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Wait, you come here in because maybe, you maybe, maybe. 2,000 rupees for ticket, you have to look in something inside, no? So 2,000 for the temple and the ceremony or 2,000 each? 2,000 each. 2,000 each, alright, I'll consider, maybe do okay. one of them. Thank you very much, okay. keep it up, yeah? Alright. So guys, we found uh, some brothers in arms over here, let's say it like that. And, uh, oh yeah, we're back at the monkeys. You always have to make some excuse why you're not Oh my goodness, wow. Seriously, they look so funny. Like the Bali monkeys look really different. They look like more, I don't know, more funny. Okay, so behind me is the lake. Actually like a really cool car here, look at that. A lot of old school stuff like this. And here is some type of, looks like pretty big mall. So I'm not sure if I'm going to the right entrance. Down there, see a bunch of like, whatever, all the brands, all the goods that they have to offer. And here's like a little bit of a pyramid entrance. So let's go through the mall. I definitely can use a little bit of air conditioning now. When I left, it was like 9, 10 a.m. Now 12, starting to heat up. So yeah, I really went for like a super, super nice walk. That's just the way I like it. Listen to some nice music and really let the city feel it out a little bit so back there you see like nice scenery all right let's see so, so hello good day that's true so looks like yeah looks like some type of mall let's walk through here a little bit okay okay you actually got got pretty nice mall going on here bunch of different shops here you can get suited and booted uh, interesting it seems like they're kind of like uh, modeling some stores but it doesn't look quite fully official like some uh, chains of different like stores but yeah actually kind of uh, pretty nice it's also fairly large from what it seems so I'm gonna walk through here a little bit. I think the mall at the other end should get me out into like the more, let's say, busy city in the sense of just like regular shops from driving by the car. It looks a little bit different. So not just like very scenic, but also a bit more busy. Kind of curious to see that as well here a little bit. But yeah, good little escape from the heat outside. Sorry. Is the mall. But also, I think I'm lost already. I have no freaking idea where I am. Hmm. Okay, around 20 minutes later, I found some type of exit and I bought some socks that I really needed. <laughs> Let's see where we are. Yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. So here we have another elephant. This one's not transporting anything. And this street looks kind of like a very like interesting, busy market street. Like, kind of like an interesting mix of touristy yet local. This is what I like about Kandi so far, that it is like fairly, let's say, very mixed crowd so big city busy lots of locals just going about their daily life lots of just local trade here a restaurant bakery there's things being sold a left and a right Ooh. yeah so even a little bit hard to walk so yeah seriously just traveling through Sri Lanka you see so many old different entrances different types of um, infrastructure that has been around for often hundreds of different years so from what I read Kandi always resisted occupation from different forces but generally in Sri Lanka you know Dutch Portuguese even before that I think the last people to mess around here were the British so you often see like things from that time in Kandi probably a bit less but yeah very very busy street where you can buy pretty much looks like everything So I have to tell you, in a, in a weird and funny way, this reminds me a lot of uh, street markets in Ukraine. So, let's say smaller cities, Odessa, or like, I mean, just let's say 
let's just pass through here hello seriously looks absolutely the same same setup the way they're putting the products left and right i mean obviously in so many you can buy like a t-shirt here hello my hello hello ah, just looking at the market i would really have a hard time to know what i would be looking for but just kind of like the market itself really really interesting and as i said in a very weird way a little bit nostalgic uh, in many parts of the world obviously markets like that died out and i think also in eastern europe they're dying out in many ways but up here here's like a tailor can get tailored hello very very interesting we're running into let's say some type of very local market like I really love that so basically they're selling vegetables dried fish seems to be very very authentic while at the same time look at that on the other side of the streets you're having these very very old buildings this one's colored blue for whatever reason trees growing out of it pretty much at this point across here okay and uh, yeah industry pretty much on all different levels here pharmacy yeah very very original this street i have to say generally candy my first impression was honestly a bit i found it to be boring around the lake especially the side i was living on then the other side has all these let's say different historical sites and the town here it's not just a local market it's very let's say unique from the way it's structured never seen something like that before just with these like little little houses and of course onions and coconuts you can get a fresh juice here you do a fresh juice what kind of juice do you have? Uh, papaya. Papaya? Pineapple. Uh-huh. Watermelon. Mango. Okay. Can we can we do something like mango? Yeah. Okay. How much is it? Uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. You guys, I am big into checking out local bakeries in any country I'm at. So in the last video we've been on the train and this is kind of like the offerings we had on the train, some like different rolls, roti bergabon also a big common one what i like here is like such colorful sweets but they're also selling dates let's say uh, can i have uh, 100 grams of dates or maybe let's say 200 yeah mm -hmm. don't want to do too much very very high on sugar but some nice dates always nice to try and uh, yeah with the mango juice we shall see what else do we have once again, some old school countries, you know, they remind me a lot of like post-Soviet Union, candy, something like that. This, I don't know, tricky or let's say original. Five. No change, please. Thank you. So unfortunately, we cannot take it with us, but cheers, man. It's pretty fresh, actually. So Very good, very good. Thank you. So we're seeing the dosa specialist. Specialist. Let's see if that's the case. Hello. You do dosa? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right. Hi. We shall see. You also have upstairs sitting? You can see the street or? Yeah? Okay, I'll check out. Let's check out the venta. Hello. All right. I see the ingredients. Very promising. There we go, nice outside seating, can look a little bit at the road. Appa. And we're gonna have ourselves a little bit of dosa, nice. Yeah, very good. Okay, I think I'll order right away, let's see. <laughs> yeah, spicy is good, do we also have something like chicken? No chicken, okay. 
Yeah, no. Spicy cheese onion. <clears throat> no cheese onion? No. Uh, let's do. You have a uh, egg? No. Egg dosa? No egg. Okay, ah, we're vegetarian. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the vegetarian, guys. Okay, I do uh, onion dosa, please. Onion dosa. Yes. And you also have some drinks. Water Let's see. see. Papaya. Lemon. The papaya, is it like fresh fruit? Yes. Okay, can we do papaya juice, uh, no sugar? Okay, thank you. All right, now I feel like I'm making pranks on them. I'm working, I'm walking into a vegetarian restaurant. I'm like, do you have chicken? No. Beef? No. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna have a little dosa. Oh man, I like these like old vibe. You just look at the buildings and there is like an 1897 number on it. Thank you very much. So guys, this is a good old dosa. Eh? So pretty much just dough, a little bit of onions inside, some nice sauces. Always delicious, simple meals, some nice carbs. Personally, when I'm traveling a lot, I eat fairly light uh, if I eat outside and then at home either have like some protein shake or just to make things easy a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's a big go-to of mine, especially when I'm in a country like Sri Lanka, India, anywhere really where they have Indian food. Let's see. Sorry? Where do you come from? Ukraine. Ukraine? Yes. You're from Kandy? Yeah. Nice. How many, how many days you go to there? One day, to right now. Today, you come back tomorrow. Yeah. How much you want for one day? Uh, 2,500. 2,500? Yeah. What was your name? I was Duminde. How? Duminde. Duminde. Okay, I'm Danny. Danny. Nice to meet you, my friend. I like your style. So nice shirt, nice ah, necklace. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, yeah, so what do we got here? <laughs> so what do you need? So we rented ourselves a blue scooter. Thank you. So helmet. Okay, all the documents, yeah. Alrighty guys, so it is the next morning right now. Just uh, got my hands on a little scooter, recorded a little bit the getting of the scooter. So from what I hear, it can be a little bit tricky, just in terms of police stops, things like that. But we shall, we shall see. So as of right now, I was considering to go to Ella, but then I saw it's a seven hour drive. I only have a couple of days left in the country, so maybe I'll still do it. But for now, there's this famous, famous rock. First of all, I'm here at the Kandi viewpoint, get kind of like a, Actually, really, really interesting view. The whole lake, you've seen it in the drone shots. But yeah, basically, the mission as of right now is going to be drive out around three hour drive to this humongous rock in the middle of the country. Will be interesting. So, join me on the next video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Do all that jazz, whatever it is. Ah. See you in the next one.